Okay, I had a student had questions on this problem here, so I thought I would go over it uh, real quick. So we're given um, a portfolio, and they have different weights. And remember weights, when you're talking about weights, the amount of money you have invested. So it, may, it might be better to format all these as percent. Uh, I, I, I like to use percent rather than, uh, rather than uh, a decimal form of percent. So if 100% of my money was in stocks, well, basically you have to fill in all these blanks, right? So I'll just kind of go this, do this one at a time to kind of make sense. So remember, this is the portfolio weights. So if 100% of my money is in stocks, well, 0% of my money is in bonds because you, you have, the, the weights have to equal 100%, right? So another way you could do that, you could say this equals uh, 1 minus this, right? And uh, we can copy that formula down and... We've already filled those in, so so those are so those answers are pretty easy. So the next thing it asks, as far as the expected return, um, so the expected return is going to be the weight of A times the expected return of A plus the weight of B times the expected return of B. Well, we have the expected return of A right here at twelve because it's a hundred percent. There's no no bonds, so we know the expected return of A is twelve percent. And we have the expected expected return of, of, of the bonds of 7% because we have no stocks here. So we're able to figure this out using this equation here. It's going to be equal to, probably we could do, and to make this a little bit shorter, we already know the way, we, we could go, uh, we could go uh, put the expected returns down below here. Expected return, expected uh return of A and the expected return of B. We all know, we know that now. Let's see. The, the A is equal to, well, well it's going to be here, this 12%, because this is 100% stocks. And expected return of B is equal to 7%, because that's 100% bonds. Right? So, um, Let me subscript this real quick. All right, so so now we can figure out the expected returns of these. All it's going to be is equal to the sum product of the weights times the, exp the, the individual expected returns. So now I'm going to copy this formula down, and these expected returns aren't going to change. So I'm going to go ahead and hit F4 to, to stick those. I want these to move as I go down, but I don't want it to move off of this. And we could format that as percent. Take it out a couple places. So very quickly we were able to do those. Um, so let me highlight those. That's the, those are some more answers we needed. All right, so now for the, finally for the last one, we have to do this this crazy thing right here, right? So we, we, know, the weight, we, we know the weights right here. That's weight of weight of a. We get weight of uh, weight squared times the standard deviation squared. Well, we have the standard deviations too. So let me put uh, uh, let me put the symbol here. Insert symbol. And we'll insert a standard deviation. Oh, we only need one. And we'll call that uh, a. And let me copy this over here. And we'll call this B. Again, since this is 100% stocks, this is the standard deviation of A because there's bonds is not involved. So the standard deviation of A is going to be equal to 21%. And the standard deviation of B for the bonds is going to be 12%. So we just, because we're going to use these over here, right? Um, so we're going to use these in this formula. So now, so this is going to be equal to the square root of the weight of 1 squared, which is this one squared, times the standard deviation of A squared. I'm going to go ahead and F4 that, because when I copy this formula down, I don't want it to move from there, plus the weight of number 2, 
squared times the standard deviation for the bonds f for that because I don't want to move squared plus 2 times this times this times the correlation coefficient. I'm going to go ahead and f for that because I don't want that to move. Okay. Times the standard deviation for 1, f for it, times the standard deviation for 2, f for it. So if I did that right, I already know the answer is supposed to be 17.67. Uh, so let's see if we did it right. And let's just take that. Let's do that percent because standard deviations can be in percent. 17.67. And, we'll, and then we'll just take that down the rest of the way. And we got that answer. So let me put the formula in here so you can see it. So anyway, so that, that I'm actually just showing you some shortcuts, right? But basically that looks pretty complicated. But you just have to plug in these numbers for the equations to be able to recognize what is what. Okay? All right, so that's it for that video. Hopefully that helped. If you like my like my uh, my videos, you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My picture will come up here. Go ahead and click on that. And give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you. Bye.